Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using helper methods in Middleman. Helper methods are basically just little snippets of code that you can add into your HTML or your markdown files that simplify some common HTML tasks. So, for example, if you're writing a markdown file, you probably don't want to include any ugly or messy HTML inside of it. And if you're writing an HTML file, you might not want to have to go through all the trouble of like creating a link or maybe creating some type of a form. So helper methods allow you to take some common HTML elements and just simplify them into like a simple snippet of code and you can add them into your site. The easiest way to kind of wrap your head around what these do is just for me to demonstrate them. So I'm going to show you a couple of these different helper methods and you can kind of get a feel for how they work. First helper method I want to show you is used to create a link. So if you're in a markdown file, you can use this, or if you're in an HTML file, you can use this as well. And the way that we start these helper methods is with a less than sign, a percent sign, and then an equal to sign. And then we want to close off this tag with a percent sign and a greater than sign. Now inside here, inside this tag, we can put the name of the helper method that we want, and we can also pass it different parameters. So in my case, I'm just going to have one that's link underscore two, and this is just going to create like a normal HTML link for us. Inside of parentheses, I'm going to pass this a parameter, so I'm just going to pass it the name of the link. So we can just say like draft academy. We can link to the draft academy website, and then I'm also going to pass this the URL that I want to link to. So this could either be another page on your website, or it can be an external website. In our case, we'll just put the Draft Academy website. So when I go over to my website, you'll notice over here we have this link. And when I click this, it will bring us to the Draft Academy website. So that's how you can create you know, a link using these helper methods. There's a couple other uh, things we can do. I do want to point out over here in this style sheets folder, I have a CSS file. So you can use these helper methods to link to like a CSS file, for example. You could also use these to link to a JavaScript file. And I have a JavaScript file here that we can also link to. So let's link to that style sheet. And the way that we can do that is by saying style sheet underscore link underscore tag. And now we just want to put the name of the style sheet. So in my case, it was GA underscore style. And so this style sheet should just make the text bigger and it'll change it to a blue color. And so if I just put some text here, you'll notice that the style sheet has changed the style of the text. And if I get rid of this helper method, the text will change back to how it was originally. So that's one way that you can use these to, for example, link to a style sheet. You can also link to a JavaScript file. Over here, I have this JavaScript file, gacode.js. And all it really does is just uh, alert out hello world. It's a very basic JavaScript file. So here I can say JavaScript include tag. And then again, we're just going to pass this the name of the JavaScript file. So it's GA code. And now when I refresh my website, you'll notice that this hello world message pops up. And so it's now using that JavaScript file that we just included. So if you have external style sheets or JavaScript files that you want to link to in your pages, you can use uh, the tags just like this. Another thing that I could do would be to, for example, link to an image. So over here in this image folder, I just have this uh, PNG of the middleman logo. And all we'd have to do is use one of these helper methods and we can just say image underscore tag and then just put the name of the image which is just logo dot png and now you'll see that this image gets added inside of our um, website over here and so those are you know sort of basically how you can use these helper methods in order to um, you know make accessing static resources and linking and basically just like using HTML on your website a little bit easier. Over here, I have open the middlemanapp.com. And this is the page that talks about helper methods. Basically, um, this just has a list of all of the helper methods that you can use inside of middleman. And so what you want to do is just take a look at this page and you can kind of scroll down and see all the different helper methods that you can use inside of your content files.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.